What is up? This is me, Jessica Kylie Nichols Vernon, aka Halsara, and you're watching T Girl Gamer. A replacement. A replacement for my daily vlog. I understood that no more dicking around wasn't working nor was attracting any viewers. As such, I've decided to turn it into a Let's Play video game show called T-Girl Gamer. And today we will be looking at a game called Gender Bender DNA Twister Extreme. This game was actually a gift from the developer, uh, Lack and DK of Transcendental Gaming, who asked me to review this game. Uh, today we'll be looking at Steph's storyline, and with my f uh, cast, we will be looking at Dina's, I believe. This is an appropriate first stop because I am in the furry community as a transformation writer. And I've done stories similar to this, which you may have recognized in the Paradise, Metamore Keep, or Free Ride settings. I'm also trying to write my own book, uh, Gaia Planes, which well, we'll I'll talk more about that when it's ready. Now let's get started with the game. Gender Bender DNA Twister Extreme. Do, 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 do. Come on. This game is available on Dezora for $25. I got my copy for free from the developer. For review purposes. Ooh, let's turn that down. Let's turn that down. The game's not voice acted in any way, and it has very repetitious music tracks. Let's look at the girls. Bree, Lynn, Dina, whom... This is the one who we'll be looking at with uh, three other reviewers in order to find out if this game is transphobic or not, as some of its opponents have been accusing it of. This is Steph. Steph is rather unique in that he is the only one who starts as a girl and turns into a guy. Well, as you can see from Dan, Yale, Bree, Lynn, and Dina here, they all start off rather male and end up rather female. So how appropriate that this is the first game we'll be doing to raise awareness for my sexual reassignment surgery fundraiser. Steph is a security guard who, uh, who keeps the peace around this unnamed town. Steph's storyline is also unique in that it takes place after everyone else's. Let's, uh, make this a little more full screen here, there. How are we on time? Okay, yeah. Okay, back to patrolling the mall. I'll patrol the university campus after lunch. My name is Steph, and I'm a security guard with CDG Security. We're a private security company. Boo! Boo! I disprove of the privatization of the government's responsibilities. Boo! Tasked with patrolling a few locations around town. I'm not actually a police officer, so I can't make any arrests, but I am in charge of keeping the peace around here. Okay, not to sound sexist, but... Has anyone ever actually seen a female mall cop? I live in North Carolina, so I guess it's a little down south where we're a little more, uh, I hate to say it, but let's put this nicely, traditional, so to speak. I've never seen a female mall cop. If you've seen one, let me know. I mean, there's got to be some somewhere. I've seen some female regular cops, but never a female mall cop. If there's a problem, people come to me to solve it. That really rarely happens, though. This town is pretty quiet most of the time, and my job consists of wandering around town doing nothing. But at least the pay is decent. Oh, is that my radio? Hello? Steph, it's Mark. 
Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> oh, that was a reference to the room. We've got a report of some stolen stock at Lolita. Can I get you to check in with them? Okay, I've actually played this game before under Ben's storyline. Uh, sorry, Bree storyline. Don't worry, Lolita is not what it looks, what it sounds like. No problem, I'm on my way now. Thanks, Def. Mark's my boss. I've been working for him without about a year now. He runs all the computers and monitors the security cameras in the main office. That sense doesn't feel right. While I'm in charge of patrolling and keeping an eye out for trouble, we actually make a pretty good team. Mark's nice to me. He's really kind. He's fun to talk to, and he's good looking to boot. Pretty much everything you'd want in a boss. It's a shame we don't hang out more outside of work. Actually, I'd love to spend more time with him. It was only a short walk from the park to the mall, and I was able to get there in no time flat. Lolita was a girly clothing store with a heavy emphasis on Lolita and punk fashions, so I don't shop there. Okay, audience. Look at the background. Does this look anything like Lolita fashions? Something tells me Lack and DK don't know what Lolita mean. I think this was the first time I'd been inside. Hi, I'm Steph from the CDG Security. You called us about a shoplifter? Yeah, it happened about 20 minutes ago. What happened? I was working at the register when I saw a hoodie walk in, a hoodie and a guy walk in. It was a little strange, but I didn't think too much of it. Well, gee, I know I'm always making sexual poses while explaining to the cops that the neighbor across the street has stolen my shit again. This guy brought some stuff on racks for a while, most notably in the Gothic Lolita section. Gothic Lolita section. Jesus Christ. Another customer walked in, so I took my eyes off of him. The next thing I know, he's sprinting out of the store with a bunch of clothes in his arms. By the time I got outside, he was long gone. Aww, she, she looks like she needs a hug, doesn't she? By the way, her name is Sophia. In Bree's storyline, you can actually lesbian date her. Or should I just say date her? Didn't you think it was weird that a guy was in a girl's clothing store? You haven't been in this town long, have, it, have you? Huh? Never mind. Did you manage to get a description of the guy? Not really, I never paid attention to his face. I have a suspicion that might be the same guy you shot with her from Boxers last week or- Oh, damn it. We'll have to keep an eye out for him. Thanks. The store clerk showed me what had been stolen, and I filed out a damage report for the insurance company. Chinda Binda DNA Twister Extreme! Filing out damage reports for the insurance company! The store would get their money back, and normally that would be the end of it, but I wasn't going to stop till I caught this guy. Everyone at the mall was working their butts off earning a decent living, and some low life, low life thinks he can waltz in here and steal stuff instead of getting a job like a normal person. <laughs> you think you think people who work in the mall make a decent living? <laughs> well, to be fair, the makers of this game are Australian. <laughs> hey yo, America sucks. It didn't sit right with me, and I was going to do my best to catch this guy. I wish he had something to go off, though. So I'm looking for a guy in a hoodie. Unless he took off the hoodie, then I wouldn't be able to recognize him. Clearly there's some anime-ish inspirations, which actually suit the topic well. Damn, I'm never gonna find this guy. Reminds me of Free Ride in a way, which is also based off of anime tropes and uses a lot of the same sense of humor, which makes sense because it's also a setting dedicated mostly towards uh, men becoming women under sci fi 
uh, causes. I wonder if we caught him on the security camera. Lolita doesn't have one, but there's one right outside that should have spotted him. I'll have Mark look over the security footage for me tonight. Hey, Stephanie! Fantastic. Hi, Dina. Working hard? Yep, same as usual. I take it you're keeping out of trouble. Not secretly taking revealing pictures of people or anything. Please, that was months ago. I don't do stuff like that anymore. If you recall, Dean is one of the girls you can play as. This is how we know that Steph's takes place after Dina's storyline as... Well, just look at her. I, I don't think Derek has... As many... Such massive, um... Tracks of land? Uh huh. I haven't actually played Dina's storyline yet. I'm saving that for the Let's Play so that I can do a blind run of it, because blind runs are normally better. So this is probably a reference to something that happens in that storyline. But like I said, I, I don't know. I'll find out when I do Dina's story. Dina is probably the craziest person I have ever met. Despite her big presence, Dina is surprisingly mysterious, and I honestly don't know that much about her. For the past few months, Dina's been causing me all sorts of trouble. Her actions have only gotten weirder since she started wearing those cat ears everywhere. I still don't buy her story that they're animatronics she ordered from overseas. Those things look way too real to be a stupid costume. I remember when her boobs looked insanely out of proportion, but she doesn't look so ridiculous now that she put on a bit of weight. That's probably due to all those nachos at Sunset Blend. Shouldn't you be at work, or at class, or something? Why? Don't you want to hang out with me? I have work to do. Lame. I guess I'll leave you to your work. See you around, Steph. <sighs> When I read DG's stories, I like to get into the characters' heads, just to feel the transformation with them. I know that probably sounds weird, but right now I'm just trying to get into Dina's head, just trying to think about what it must feel like to go through such a purifying process. Someone in my house? Hold on, I think someone's in my house, I gotta check. Anyway, as I was saying, turns out no, it was just one of my cats. I don't have a webcam, just this microphone. So, sorry you can't see them. <laughs> well, maybe in a future video. See you around, Dina. Dina slinked off into the distance, and I continued my patrol of the area. There's something I just don't trust about that girl. Hmm, what time is it? According to my watch, it's almost lunchtime. So, noon then? Awesome! Let's eat! Can I come? Ah! I couldn't help but overhear. Go. Away. Aw. Ugh. I walked away from Miss Crazy Pants and made my way to the Sunset Blend. It was a big cafe in the middle of the mall. I got a discount there because I helped with an unruly customer once. The less that's said of that incident, the better. Hey Ryan, any suspicious behavior going on? Slightly off topic, but anyone named Ryan is a complete douche. That's just something I learned in life. It's weird, but a lot of people seem to behave based according to their names. Ryan's are douches. Jonathan's are always fat and masculine acting. Kyle's are always crazy. Charles's are always intelligent. Am I the one who just noticed this? Just me. Apologies to anyone named Ryan who isn't a douche.
Nothing more than usual. Good to hear. So what can I get you? Uh, can I have a hot chocolate and some biscuits? 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 Steph, you think we're in England? You think we're in merry old England? You wanna have some fish and chips while we're at it? Sure. Anything else? Nah, that's all. Then your food will be ready in a few minutes. Thanks, Ryan. That was pretty much the routine I followed every day at work. Patrol the park in the outside areas, spend lunchtime wandering on the mall, then finish by checking on the university campus. CDG security had to secure the contract had managed to secure the contract several different places, so I got to go to a bunch of different places each day. They even let me drive the security van, but I prefer to walk because the thing is a nightmare around corners. Or maybe I just suck at driving. Just saying, a friend of mine had a van for several years until recently. He could drive it pretty well. Once my lunch break was over, I left the mall and walked over to the university campus. The university is so creepy when there aren't any students around. And there's still another four months until classes start up. Again, this place is a, going to feel like a ghost town until then. Eh, not really. I live in a college town myself. It's pretty crowded all year round. Though then again, we're also a tourist town because we've got all the beaches nearby. I just want to stop and say I love that statue. There is no way any college campus in real life would have such a sexual statue, but... I wish they did. I just just love it. It's just everything about this is wonderful. Especially this right here about how the stone boobs look like they're smushing up against her arm. <laughs> I just love that. Ah, well, I just don't have to worry about vandalism or anything. It makes my life easier. For some reason, I had this weird feeling, like some pony was watching me. It was really creepy, but I checked a few times and there wasn't anybody here. Oh, okay, now that she's gone, I can appreciate the statue even more. This girl doesn't seem to have nipples. These three are all covering their nipples, but this one right here is all... Check out my tatas, bitches! Just, ah, uh, yeah, you know you want some. Ah, uh. yeah, she knows she's hot. She's just rubbing that fountain and it's squirting up and, ah, uh, I need to get laid. I was probably overtired, as opposed to undertired. I've been working a lot lately. My search for the shoplifter didn't go too well either. I spoke to a few different university employees, asked if they'd seen anyone in a hoodie sneaking around, but no one had seen anything. You went to a college campus to ask if someone in a hoodie was sneaking around? That... You know, near my college campus, there are tons of kids in hoodies, and all of them are sneaking around because they're looking for a place to light up. because we've been pretty strict on tobacco bans, unfortunately. And marijuana isn't legal in any state except for Colorado or Washington. Though it's been decriminalized here. So, you know, Steph, they probably did see them, but they probably saw like dozens of kids looking to spark it. It was annoying, but there was only a matter of time until he slipped up and I caught him. Criminals were a superstitious, cowardly lot. But with me, they stood no chance. Because I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman. I mean, um, woman. Foreshadowing. After a few more minutes of patrolling, I called it a day and walked back to the office to speak with Mark. <laughs> That is the sexiest leader of a police, of a private mall. This is the sexiest male, ugh. 
This is the sexiest mall cop I've ever seen. He doesn't look like he's about to uphold the peace. He looks like he's about to lay down some sweet beats down at the local coffee club. I mean, I could just picture this guy with a fedora and a vest and not wearing any pants and feeding me nachos on my bed while I'm in my panties. Mark's hot. No, there's no trace of him. He was long gone. I had a look in the security footage, but we didn't catch much. No, wait, 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 that's not the voice I'm going with Mark. Hold on, let me try my soul voice. <clears throat> I had a look on the security footage, Mama Sita, but we didn't catch much. How are we in time? Oh, uh, we are 20 minutes over, so I'm gonna end it right here, and I'll see you next time.